due to popular demand, we have an extended mail episode featuring questions from viewers like you, along with two packages. Three. Well, three packages. Two packages from fans and one a little something that I ordered on eBay for myself. So, when we had the contest the last week, I had a, a number of questions people asked that I did not get to. Um, I printed them out, and I, when I did the Word document, I printed them out and didn't take all of them. Uh, so I have a few more questions here that uh, I didn't get to, that I'm going to get to now. <laughs> but first, two points of order. Mm -hmm. One, softball is over for the season. Antonio's Bakery finished up this season in strong fashion tonight. We gave medals to the kids. We played a solid game. Uh, we almost made some great plays. We had a little after game party, and I got this sweet little thing. I know people like my autographs through the mail, but I got myself an autographed jersey, Antonio's Bakery Original, number six, Who's from number the Appenon Girls Softball. Dad, who's number six? Uh, there was no number six this year. We, we had too many shirts. We had 14. We only had uh, 10 players. And all the players took a moment after the game to sign this bad boy. Very nice. Very nice. So I'm going to hang this downstairs in my, uh, my room. And when you get to see the tour of the room during our 500,000 viewer contest, uh, contest, our 500,000 viewer episode, you will see it hanging with pride. My first coaching job yeah. is done. Uh, a lot of positive feedback. Parents seem to enjoy it. The kids have really developed well. Already looking forward to fall ball. So that's that's good news. Uh, second point of order is I have no second point of order. I don't know. Brain's going. Oh, this week. This week? Next week. Next week. Tops Archives comes out. Yay. New set to start breaking, so keep your eyes out for that. Uh, I still have a bunch of boxes I got in. We have the wacky packs to do. Yay. We got more Cooperstown to do. Yay. We have retro boxes from the 80s Yay. and 90s to do. Whew, got a lot of stuff going on. Now the softball's done. Maybe I'll have some free time. But let's get to some questions, shall we? You ready for this, buddy? Yes. Hello, my name is Noah Cochran. And I am a huge fan of your videos. I think they're all great, and I think it's awesome that you hold these contests. By the way, I did not skip to the end of the video. Anyway, thank you for the contest. My favorite video of yours was your trip to Fenway Park. That was an awesome video. I really liked seeing how the trip went and how you are all true baseball fans. Uh, Remember when we went to Fenway? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we're going back again in August. We're going to go see the uh, Red Sox play the Indians on Monday night game. We're going to go up, uh, stay with John again on Sunday. Monday morning, we're going to go in early. We're going to get the tour of Fenway Park. And then Lucas is a kids club member, so we are going to go up for batting practice on top of the Green Monster. We will be on top of it watching batting practice, maybe snagging a, a batting practice ball or two. Going to have a heck of a video for that, so watch out for that in August. Plus, we have a trip to Ohio coming up in the summer where uh, we're going to go to a couple Indians games. We're going to go to an Akron game. Going to have some fun. Maybe swing by the Baseball Hall of Fame again. But anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, Zach Kessler says, I would like to be in your contest, which you were. My question for you is, what is your favorite card ever? My, your most favorite card ever. Uh, so many cards favorite one one of the cards that really got me when i first started getting back into collecting was an on card uh actually was an on card or sticker uh super joe charbonneau great nicknames card from fleer which blew me away that they had super joe charbonneau uh autographed cards in this day and age um uh, yep. i would be the painting oh i would be the painting patch back of of Manny Ramirez. Ramirez. That's a beautiful card. Holy cows, that's beautiful. If you want to see that card, look at our Mansfield card show from uh, Memorial Day. And we will be going up to the card show on Father's Day, uh, where fathers like me get in free and get a free gift. Yeah! Wait, what's the gift? I don't know. I won't know until I get there. But they have uh, four or five Red Sox, former Red Sox players signing, so we're going to get some autographs. 
We're gonna get some pictures taken with them. Shelby! <laughs> And about the players, we don't need that. Yeah, forget about the players. All right, so Courtney Grace wanted to know, what is the most expensive set of baseball cards? And the answer she actually provided is the T206-1909-1911 set. T206, if you don't know, is where the famous Honus Wagner card came from, but they're all... I actually have a, a document at work. It's about 30 pages I've been working on. Whoa. Where I take the T206 set, go to the uh, Cleveland Naps cards, which is what they were called back then, the Naps. And I looked up every player on that team, wow. uh, including Knapp, including uh, Cy Young towards the end of his career, and many others. And I, and I looked into their histories, their stats, and there's a lot of interesting things about, uh, about that team and the players and uh, their influence on baseball. Uh, so someday I'll share that with you guys. Uh, number two, in almost every break I laugh because Lucas finishes before you. Speed. Speed kills. Because he's not buying the cards, so... Why does why should he go slow? Austin says, Dear Matt and Lucas, I've been watching your videos for a long time now. One of my favorite videos was watching you at the card show before Lucas's first Sox game. My question for Matt is, who is your favorite pitcher when you were a kid? And my question for Lucas is, what is your favorite position to play in baseball? Go Grasshoppers. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, so... My favorite pitcher when I was a kid, uh, I mean, this was the era of uh, Nolan Ryan, Roger Clemens. Okay. I saw his 20 strikeout game on TV. Uh, I mean, it was so many. Uh, Dennis actually was a knockout ace, Dave Stewart. Uh, my favorite player, ama pitcher at, at the time, amazingly enough, was Bob Stanley, a relief pitcher for uh, the Boston Red Sox. Oh, yeah! Uh, I, I, I like, he just looked like a normal dude, and he came out, he seemed very humble, and uh, something about that appealed to me. Uh, Rocket seemed a little arrogant at the time, but he was a great pitcher, and I loved rooting for him. Um, my question. You, you have a question? Sure. No. I'm going to answer my question. Oh, that's right. I forgot they asked you a question. Oh, my God. Okay, so my favorite position is definitely pitcher. Oh, you like pitching? Yeah. Nice. Good. Well, that's where the money is. You become a pitcher, you make big yeah, money. Yeah, I actually uh, was a pitcher. Pitcher. That, this game. Oh, yeah? How'd you do? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, good. Take a break from the questions. I ordered this thing on eBay. Now... I hope there's some Red Sox cards there's in it. There's no Red Sox cards in this. In fact, Hi. it's not even a baseball card. What? Is it a football card? It's not even a sports card. What? This is a 1936 G-Men Heroes... Of the law card. What is that? This is number 11. And this is the card. It's in a PSA sealed container. It's, I mean, it's a very low grade. It's a PR1. I mean, barely worth grading. I don't know. I can't believe someone actually slabbed it. Slabbed but it? Slabbed it. They put it in plastic. It's encased. Uh -huh. It's protected against the elements. Now, the G-Men, back in the day when I lived in Cumberland, Rhode Island, there used to be a card shop on the top of uh, Menden Hill by uh, Manville Hill Road. Uh, run by two older gentlemen, hippie guys from the 70s, very cool people. But I caught a couple shoplifters while I was in there, and they gave me a part-time job. So I'd sell the cards, I'd, I'd price them and everything, and I bought one of these cards off of someone for $5. I think this may even be the card, uh, not the actual card, but number 11 was the card I bought. It looks very familiar to me. And uh, I saw this on eBay, and uh, I said, you know what? It's a cool card, it's protected, so I can show it off without worrying about it getting any more damaged. And uh, it's a very cool set. Uh, this one, uh, Civil War News, uh, Horrors of War, very cool I card think... sets for the you know the older collector. A lot of text on the back to read about stories. Oh, yeah. uh, and I only paid five dollars shipped for this card. I mean, a, the greater card costs about ten dollars. Uh, so I got a cool piece of history. It's, it's uh, protected against the elements. And I have something to show off to uh, people who aren't that impressed with the sports card collection because they don't like Dad, sports. Can I open one of those? You want to open one of those? Man, we got so many questions from viewers. Uh, let me, let's do a couple more of these. How do you guys store your cards? My favorite video was when you opened up the package that I sent you guys. I was glad you enjoyed them. Matt Flash Fan 3. We have uh, the, uh, the four section boxes. I think there are a thousand cards. Not the fives. That's too heavy. Four wide uh, and I have about six of them downstairs. I try to give away a lot of the cards, as you guys can, you know, from following the channel. Uh, so I never get too many stocked up down there. 
Uh, who is your f favorite player to collect? Asks Jared Darling. Me? David Ortiz. Me? Easily. I mean, I, I'm a player collector of J Super Joe Charbonneau, first of all. Uh, my all-time favorite player. Don't, that He's the guy who, when I got into baseball in Cleveland, was the man that everyone wanted to uh, to collect. And that was when I was buying my first cards, tr my first packs trying to find him. Uh, who else? Uh, David, or not David Ortiz, you're David Ortiz. Don Baylor, I think I may try to get a collection going and have him at some point. Who's Don Baylor? And the current player is Jason Kipnis and uh, to a lesser degree, uh, Carlos Santana. But Kipnis has a lot of interesting cool cards. Who's Don Baylor? Now? Don Baylor, he was the one I got the relic of. I sent the way to see if he'd autograph it. Um, uh, he autograph it? Uh, yeah, I just sent it away last week. Give him time. Coach K said, I like the video where your son kept hiding behind the box and kept popping his head around it. Remember that one? No. The box was here, and you were going like this. No. I remember that one. Uh, Ryan Sch uh, Schroeder said, what's your favorite baseball memory, and what is the best card you ever pulled? Best card I ever pulled, I don't know, was probably the Kevin Smith on-card autographed mini Island and Guitar framed relic. Do you have any favorite cards that we've pulled? And my favorite baseball memory, oof, that's a tough one. Um, I mean, I mean, the obvious choice would be the Red Sox when they first won the World Series after that long drought. But to be honest, it was so anticlimactic because we won it in four. And when they won, everyone in my house was asleep uh, because it went so late. And I was the only one who was awake when they won, so it was kind of a low-key celebration. And then you like, kind of yelled, it was like, oh, my But my favorite baseball memory, I'm going to go with this one. First time I ever went to Fenway Park. I was working in Boston at a little store called buck -a book I was a manager at uh, Government Center. The owner, uh, Bruce Moore, came in one day. He had four tickets behind home plate. Beautiful seats he couldn't go to. He had a meeting. Wanted to know if anyone wanted to go. I took him. I went. Uh, who, who did you go with? Uh, I don't even remember. At this, at, it's been so long. <laughs> but I remember coming into Fenway and walking up behind home plate. Because that's where the seats were. And coming out the tunnel and the, the field opens up and you see the monster. You see the bleacher seats and you see the field. And it was just like, it was like a movie. Like it just, it just opened up around me. And it was, it was a heck of a moment. Heck of a moment. Heck of a moment! Uh, Evan Large said, hi, I'm Evan and I'm a huge fan of your videos. I'm a collector too. My dad got me into it a few years ago. I love to break boxes, but I don't film them. Well, why not? <sighs> Thank you for the contest. Now for my questions. One. What is your favorite Tops or Panini product? Panini, easy. Diamond Kings, love it. Tops. Oh, man, there's so many good ones. Uh, Alan Ginter's always good. Archives is always enjoyable. The base top set every yeah, year. Yeah, that's what I like. I mean, that gives me a lot of through the mail cards and it's interesting information. I got opening day with the it's so fun subsets. Which one are you picking? Tops. The Tops basic. That, that, comes out every year. that would probably be my guess. Too. Yeah, That's what I look forward to. It's the first like, set of the year. It's beautiful. It's like it's not too like it's not too stylish, but it's not like yep. it's, it's it's a good solid base card. It's like not too fancy, but it's not too lame. What is your favorite card or card you pulled? A dream card. What was the what would be the one card that if if you could pull it, would you pull? The David Ortiz autograph. Patch. An autographed patch? Oh, wow. That would be awesome, huh? Holy cows. Um, geez. Uh, my dream card, huh? Um, I mean, I guess, I mean, this is kind of lame because it's not a baseball player. Uh, but last year in archives, they had an Axl Rose aut autograph card. Uh, Axl Rose. The lead singer of Guns N' Roses. Very hard autograph to get. The card goes for about $400 now. Wow. Um, that would be my card. If I if I could splurge and buy one card, that would probably be it. But, what, Dad, what what would you do with it? Would you keep it as a collectible or sell it? Oh, I'd keep it. I'd never sell that. Okay. And what was your favorite box you broke? Oh, favorite box that we broke. God, we've done so many of them. Over 75 boxes already. Packy packs were pretty cool. That's going to be your choice, wacky packs? No. I'll just say that uh, they're cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can pick whatever you want. Um, 
Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. They're all so interesting in their own right. It's it's hard to tell. Yeah. Probably that probably that uh, Alan and Ginter retail box where I got the Kevin Smith autograph because it was so unexpected. My wife bought it for me. Uh, she picked it out, and when I I never get anything from retail boxes. It's just more to show off and give away. Uh, but that one I'll never forget. So let's get to let's get to this. Let's get yes. To this. All right, we got Paul Thalman, T H A L M A, and then do not bend photos inside. And this came in a little while ago, but oh, from Sir Gnome. If opened on YouTube, black out my address, please. Thanks. I have blocked out your address. Actually, good idea. Uh-huh. Dad, I want to. I want to pull out. All right, pull it out. Whoa! There's a pack. There's a note. God, more packs. And even more packs. All right. So the packs are just. Cont- oh yeah! Ooh. Let's see what we got here. To Matt and Lucas. My, hello. My name is Paul, and I live in Rhode Island too. I'm 13, and it's really cool to see a kid like Lucas so interested in cards. Everybody at his age these days is only into Pokemon, and sports collecting is becoming a lost art. So this is great to see. Also, thank you for letting for letting me to this trade with you guys. I hope you like the cards, and I hope we can do this again. Also, I threw some cards of other teams besides Red Sox and Indians cards, and I put this card of the player Matt Luke. Because your names are Matt and Lucas. Thanks again and happy collecting, Paul. Well, thank you, Paul. So what do we got right off the bat? Is we got a little David Ortiz. Okay, time to open these packs. No, Indians. Haha, Indians. Nice. Indians. Even more Indians. Oh, Pacific. I kind of miss... more uh, Indians. Indians. I kind of miss... Indians. Hey, Lillian, yeah. can you be a deer and turn on the other light for me? It's a little dark in here. Indians, Indians, oh, Indians, 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 Indians. See Indians, if this lines Indians, up the Indians. mood a little bit in here. Dad, that whole pack was just Indians. Good. Indians, 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 Indians. Indians. Oh, look at this one. Indians, 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 and Indians. This is a, what is this? Skybox? Nice. Look at that. Very cool awesome. card. I've never seen one of those before. The Whoa, Alomar Brothers. Look at this, Dad. Show it off. A Ted Williams something something. I was just talking about Ted Williams. Chasing Williams. Ch- chasing Williams. That's it. Chasing history. Nice. Chasing history. Kenny Lofton. This is a good one. Bowman hey. Chrome. Look at that. Ooh, nice card. card. Look at the back of that. It's very cool. Red cards. Old Joe Whoa. Carter. Ow! Maybe. I stabbed my fucking grenade. Uh, this is not the card I want to show off. This is. Oh, that's cool. Brett Where it, it blurs. Hey, easy, easy. It, show it. It blurs out his helmet right there. Oh, that's cool, Pedro. Pedro's the man. Pedro's Pedro one of the best man. pictures I've ever seen. Oh, this one feels thick. Ah, uh, the Fleer 92. I remember collecting those. They had the wax packs. Wax that, uh, packs? That people got in trouble for if they owned stores because they'd slide out the top, look in the card, see if there was inserts, and reseal them. Very oh. shoddy. Uh, I, oh, this Nomar is nice. I, Ionix? That, this is deck. a whole Rest set of all the Paw Socks. Oh, yeah? From what year? You showed up down. Oh, look at this Carl Crawford um, picture. How awesome is that? 2008. Dice K Matsusaka. Yeah, 2008. Cool. Any names on there you recognize? Nice Veritech. David yeah, Murphy. Them. Oh, he's Macaulay. on the... Da- David Richard. Murphy's on the Indians now. The... Red Sox. No. No. Nope, no. Oh, wait, Clay Buckholtz. Dead. Clay oh, Buckholtz. Clay Buckholtz. That's nice when he was down at Pawtucket. Mm-hmm. Cool. When he was on the on, on the team Pawtucket. Let's see that Manny. Feel it. It's Whoa. Metal Universe. I've never seen any of these. Whoa, Dad. 
Why is this? Oh, this is cool. So, Jack Ellsbury. That one I can't pronounce. Can't pronounce. Ryan Sweetie. Jackie Bradley Jr. Now, this is a cool action shot. I have Show it off. Say. Easy, easy. It's of him sliding and catching it. Jumping through the air. Nice. It's a good celebratory <laughs> one. Dad, Grandma, Red Sox cards. Uh, Show them off. Where are they? They all <laughs> disappeared oh. in front of my eyes. Oh, excuse me. Here's the, all the Paw Sox cards. These are really nice. This is like Daddy! This is my pile! Look Dad. This. this is like a really nice minor Dad. reset. set. Jed Larrily is in the majors. Good going, Dad. You put put him in, in the wrong pile, Dad. <laughs> Craig Hansen made the majors. Justin Masterson made the majors. I He's actually back in Pawtucket now. And Clay Buckholtz, of course. Cool. Whoa, Dad, look at these fake autographs. Oh, cool. Those are the uh, upper, the Bowman Chromes. Ooh. Hey, Trot Nixon, he's going to be at the card show. You can get him to sign this card for real. Mm, nothing too A home good. Home run of history, huh? This but is Dad. nice. Dad. Yeah. Look. I like this card. Nice. Tops attack. Yeah, that's the game. I know. Do a change up fastball specialty. For Dustin Bedrow, you can do fastball change up specialty. Fastball change up specialty. Actually, I showed these off already. Red Sox. Fastball change up specialty and fastball. Trot Nixon. Specialty. Cool. And then he, he included these as well. We got what? Matt Luke, which is the card for both of us, because it's both of our names put together. Yeah. We got a Joey Votto Cincinnati Reds game used memorabilia card. Very cool. And a Sports, Illust Sports Illustrated season highlights. Sosa sets record for most homers in a month, hitting 20 in June. Good Lord. Oh. That's cool too, with, with Sports Illustrated. What's his name though? Sammy Sosa. That rhymes. Sammy Sosa. Sammy All right, Sosa. Paul. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed your cards. These are cool. We're gonna to see if we can get this Trot Nixon signed at the uh, Mansfield Card Show this month, huh? Well, we still have that one. Oh boy. Dad, can I have my Red Sox cards? All right, just stack them all in a pile. There you go. So let's get to a couple more questions wow, Dad, here. Yeah, you're amazing. Uh, okay, my favorite, uh, John B said my favorite video was when you did your Tops 2014 football box break and we got the Seahawks one of one printing plate. Uh, Matt Pazwitz, Matt Pazwitzki, where are you? Paz, 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 2000 said, Zikwe. What's yours and Lucas's favorite card? Uh, we just said Lucas's was his, uh, Manny Ramirez painted card with the dual relics on the back. Uh, Michael Thompson asks, if you could change your favorite team to another, what would it be? I'm a Yankees fan, yes, boo hiss, but I would pick the Red Sox. I still kind of like the Red Sox. Yankees and Red Sox is all I know of growing up here in the UK, old England. My favorite videos Wait, are Dad, opening are older Donner's Dad. box breaks. Hold on, and when you get a load of Yankees cards. Um, so if I didn't, if I couldn't root for the Indians, I guess I'd root for the Red Sox. But if I couldn't root for the Indians or the Red Sox, I'd probably root for. I'd probably root for the Angels. Really? Yeah. The Angels. That's a good team to root for. Yeah, because they have similar. Uh... They have similar outfits to the Red Sox. They have some good batters, like Mike Trout. Mike Trout is a good, good player. Um, I'd probably root for... <sighs> Goodness, I don't know. Jeez, uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, dear. Uh, probably the Baltimore Orioles. 
Just so I could go down to Camden Yards more often. Seriously. That's that's a tough question, kid. Uh, oh, what happened here? Uh, I already asked those. Oh, I see. I flipped over the wrong way. All right. Uh, James Danforth wants to know what are your thoughts on A Rod? What's it? What's A Rod? Alex Rodriguez. He's a Yankee shortstop player who was suspended all of last year for doing sports enhancing drugs. I like it. You're just being sarcastic. What? Uh, here's what I think about A Rod. Uh, Great natural talent, great player, kind of a jerk, uh, but all Why? the Yankees are really. Um, yeah, he's just he's just kind of a pompous jerk, but he, he's really, really, really talented. Uh, I don't know. When I did my All Star ballot, I voted for him. Uh, he's having a killer year. Uh, no, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, he did the crime. He did his time. You got to let him go. Uh, will he be in the Hall of Fame someday? I think, I think so, yeah. I put it in again. I also think Pete Rose should be in there. Dear man Lucas, we know one of you, Lucas, likes the Red Sox, and the other likes the Indians. Are there any other players on other teams that you follow or collect? And I have to ask this as a follow-up question. Is your last name pronounced Suchik? No. How is our last name pronounced? Suchek. Suchek, like you're suing for Su the check? Suchek. Although in uh, Polish, Poland, it's uh, Szewczyk. Uh what? It's Szewczyk. Wow. Yes. But we say Suchek because it just is easier for us. Um, are there any other players on other teams you can follow or collect? I don't really collect anyone else uh, except for my teams. Yeah. I do follow a very, you know, Mike Trout. I think is very exciting. Uh, just a great young player. Uh, I don't know. There's a, there's a, oh, God, I can't remember his name. There's a picture for the Blue Jays I've been following. I'm drawing a blank right now. He's really a quirky guy. He lives in a van. In the off season, really a, a, a free spirit that I am kind of following as well. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I just like great players. Uh, I mean, Trout is just such a such a thrill to see. The slide he did uh, at Fenway, where he avoided the tag, was a thing of beauty, and it, it's so exciting to see these young guys up and coming. I'm drawing a blank, but yeah, I, I mean, I like I like great players, and it's fun to watch. Oh, hold on here. Dismiss that little battery warning. Uh, question one from Top's boss, Justin Sanders, says, How is Lucas's team doing this season? I know last season wasn't so great. We're doing pretty good, actually. We are, yeah. We're, we're going strong. We'll playoff start next week. And if they get their act together, they can make a run at it. Question two, what does Lucas want to do when he grows up? Be become a baseball player. Obviously. Extra question, what do you and your family like to do together? See a movie, go to the park, sit and watch Netflix, etc. What? what do we do in our free time as a family? Sit around. When do we sit around? We're always doing something. Oh. Uh, I mean, we do sit around, though. Uh, we like watching Star Wars. We have a great Star Wars toy collection in the basement. Yep. Uh, video games. We got, you know, I'm a big video game collector. Me too. Uh, we built our Lego town downstairs with the little yep. running train. Uh, Mattville, it's called. Mattville. Uh, Mattville. Uh, we, we have, we have a, a membership at the Roger Williams Zoo in Rhode Island. Uh, we go to different museums when we get a chance. Uh, try to do road trips together. Go see different parts of the country. Uh, just hang out in the backyard. Play catch. Yeah. You know, mow the lawn. Have some fun. Try to get some manual labor out of these kids. And final question... Um, Parker Kimberlin says, I have a few questions for you. What's your favorite non-Indians Red Sox player? Who is Lucas's? I mean, Mike Trout is just amazing to watch, I yeah. think. Uh, I mean, that, that's all there is to it. He's just, just at another level. Also, at what age were you when you first started collecting? I was, let's see, maybe eight years old? And I was probably, I don't know. Seven, I think, when we yeah. did our first box break. And well, that's basically when I started collecting. Yeah. I just, like, well, because of, probably six because of uh, the online stuff. We both did that for a year. That's true. I'll have to go back. Actually, you can pretty much go back on YouTube and see when we did our first box breaks because that was pretty much the start of our collecting. Yeah. And lastly, what is your opinion on Pete Rose banned from baseball? Or yes, that's. It's a farce. I think, well, 
that that's a trick question. By banned from baseball, sh- he was banned from baseball. I understand that he gambled on the game. When he was banned from baseball and agreed to the ban, there was no denial of eligibility in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Two years after he accepted his ban, the Baseball Hall of Fame passed a condition that anyone on the banned list would not be eligible for the Hall of Fame. Two different things. I think banning him was the right course of action. Should he be in the Hall of Fame? 100% yes. Yes, I, I just, I mean, you can't deny the greatest hitter of all time. I mean, he was a beast. Just an unbelievable player. Played hard, hard-nosed, hit king. I mean, it's a shame. It's a shame. I'm hoping that the new commissioner will let him go into the Hall of Fame before he dies. I don't want this to be a five years after his death they, they put him in. Uh, let him get his moment. He deserves it. Uh, he did wrong. He finally admitted it. People backseat drive and say he should have admitted it earlier that he gambled on baseball. But, uh, you know, he finally came clean. He's banned from the game, but let him go in the Hall of Fame where he belongs. All right, so we got a package here from Aaron Shazaro. Which I'm going to open. With a lot of stamps on it. Like 75 Abraham Lincoln faces. Abraham Lincoln, we love you so much that he put like a million stamps of you. Whoa! Whoa. Hey! Okay! Whoa, what's this? A font? Ooh, Dad. Beamy. Okay, Indians, Indians. Beamy. That's all, okay, no letter? Nope. All right, Aaron. No letter. So let's just get right to the cards. This one is already open. So Interesting. Open. Laporta. Whoa, That's Dad. A old Allen and Ginter, maybe? Nice. That's cool. Yes. Ah, oh, Zach McAllister, rookie Whoa! card. Prism, nice. It's Trevor a book. Barrett. It's a book. Look, you can read all about Ted Williams. What? That's awesome. Oh, yeah, and then there's also one for Roger Clemens. Collector books, huh? I don't know if anyone's ever seen these before out here, but so let's show it off. It just gives you a bunch of information. I got How awesome are Roger. these things? Dad. I already have this guy. <laughs> I would love to see this come come back with yeah, modern players. That's amazing. Wow. I want to look at this later. Where was I? I don't know where you were. Uh, Wait. Oh, I know Hoffman. where you were. You were right here. It's a great upper deck set, even though it's a pain to sort by name because you can't see it. <gasps> oh, great action shot right here of Jason Michaels. Yeah, that action shot. Oh, an early one from a Struble well, Cabrera. Action shot. Whoa. Oh, Dad, I wonder if he makes the catch. That's a cool card, too. Dad, I wonder if he made the catch. I don't know. It's going to be close. I think he does. Lonnie Chisenhall Bowman. Nice. Look at that young man. Oh, old school Danny Salazar, huh? Very cool. They're yeah, pretty good. Now, look at this. Oh. What was it? Oh, Henry Owens? Yep. Nice, we saw him pitch. Yeah. Show it off. Easy, easy, good God. <sighs> Henry Owens, he's going to be a good guy. You Remember, you saw him pitch in the minors. I did. Oh, wow, the, the top's 206. I should have saw that on the front. Look at that. That's, that's the T206. What's a T202? That's the um, the most valuable set. But they made a, Ooh, a new yeah. set with new players on it. Oh, that's a cool card. Show it off. Show it off. Mm. Come on. Don't don't keep all this goodness to yourself. Oh, wow. Oh, upper Deck Masterpieces. This is great. Look at this. Whoa. Dad, I have one of David Ortiz of that. Yeah, yours is a relic card. This is just the base card. Awesome. Grady Sizemore. Whoa, Dad. Ah, Stadium Claw. Paint, Dad, paintings. Dave Winfield played Look, for the Indians Dad. at the end of his career. Yeah, that's the T206 set. Mm. Hey, how come I got a Red Sox in my Indians pile? Where the Red... Oh. Another great Matt Williams action Wait, shot. Wait, Boggs is mine. 
Future stars, Victor Martinez, Grady Sizemore, and CC Sabathia. Boy, they tagged those correctly, huh? Cody Ross. Hey, Dad. Yo. Oh, masterpieces again. Wow. This is cool. such a nice set. I'm amazing. I say it every video, but I wish Upper Deck was still making cards. What's Upper Deck again? They're the ones who made that masterpiece cards. Want me to go there or Oh, wait, let's do it. Beep, beep, beep. Look at this stack of nicely stacked Red Sox stacked cards stacked. Nice. It's All huge. right. Who was that? Alan? Was that his name? He didn't give me a letter. Alan and Ginter. I think read. Alan Shizero. Thank you very much. Look at this big stack. Boom. That is five autographs. That five autograph cards per box. Yeah, that that's that's what was originally in here. Uh. Ooh, whoa, 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 dude! Wow, foily goodness. Hey, Xander, let me open Look at some. the Xander Bogarts. I'm gonna open some, Dad. Give me some. Thank you. Hey, Pablo Sandoval gold card. That's gone. Nice. Serially numbered 399. The Rocket Man Roger Clemens Stadium Club. Dad, where oh. did you put my card? Nice. Hey, slow down. Slow your roll, kid. Slow your roll. You're getting a little lippy here. You must be getting close to being a teenager. Lip. Nice. Carlos Lip. Santana, rookie. Hey, Dad. Jason Kipnis. Look at the Diamond Kings card. Kenny Lofton. That's cool. Dad. Kipnis for me? No, this Fuck. is Kipnis. What's this say? Top's finest protector, peel and remove. CC Sabathia when he was a young, thin man. Oh, wow. Oh, That's a nice prism. Yeah, there we have him. Cool. That's the same exact picture. Thank you, but I only have it, but I still will put it in my binder. There's some Teddy Ball Game that you can show off. Teddy Ball Game. Oh, look at this. A Struble Cabrera Who's Heritage. Teddy Ball Game, Dad. Ted Williams. Serially uh, numbered uh, card. Uh, uh, uh. That's nice. But I don't need to show it off, Dad. Oh, Dad. Uh, you gotta show that one off. The police. Ah, I've never seen a lot of these gold futures. But at the time, they don't have the rights for the logos, probably. Yeah. Yep, that's Panini. Cool, though. It's a cool card. You're not having it. Oh, I can already say that. That's cool. What else did you get? Ted Williams Upper Deck Heroes. This is a nice one here. Whoa! Look at this. Nice blue bordered ceiling number. No, not ceiling number. Shiny Al Alan Webster. You like shiny things. <laughs> shiny nails. Collect the books. Ted Williams. Collect the books. Ted says, think. Don't just swing. Think about the pitcher, what he threw you last time. His best pitch. Who's up next? Think. Thank God. These are so cool. What else did he get? Dad, I didn't even get to see what I got, Dad. You got one of your favorite cards there. Stadium Club Ortiz yep, selfie. I already have them. Oh, this is a cool... Oh, look at that. Serially numbered dick card. 266. Is it rare? It is rare. Is that important to you? These are cool David Ortiz cards. I know! Look at this. How many cards did you just add to your collection? I don't know. A million. Dad. What? Dad, this will fill my whole entire binder now. Look at this. I still have like 70 pages left. Upper deck framed masterpieces of David Ortiz. I already have one, but... Look at, it, look at it. But that one's different, Dad. Yeah? Yeah, Dad, you can feel the bump, Dad. You can feel the bump on the side. Yeah, it's cool. And keeping that separate. And you got a certified autograph. Ooh! Nicholas Martinez, the Hickory Crawdad, Crawdad's oh, yeah. pitcher. Cool. Never heard of him, oh well. Hey, Nicholas Martinez, huh? That's cool. Is it real? Yeah, Cer certified autograph Wait, issue. Wait, what's 
What team is he for? He's in the minor leagues. What team, though? The Hickory Crawdads. Wait. For what 13. league? That's like uh, single A, double like A. Single A, double A. That's like uh, it's a step below Pawtucket. So uh, is it for Boston? No, that's not a Boston team. Maybe it's an Indians team. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. Wow. Has it really been 40 minutes already? Holy cows. All right, guys. Sorry that went long. I mean, just so many great cards I want to show them off. And so many qu great questions I want to have answered. Uh, thanks for sticking hour. with me if you're this far into it. Uh, yeah, that's a long time. Woo, I probably wouldn't have sat through this video. You guys are, are hardcore fans. All right. So thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, more stuff coming up. So as always, continue watching. Uh, thank you for clicking on the ads, uh, commenting, sending emails, trades, everything else. Having a great oh. time. Fantasy Football League going Take strong. Take this. Uh, so thank you guys for paying attention to that. Uh, wishing you all the luck uh, in your everyday endeavors. Uh, we'll be back soon. So don't panic. Don't worry. Don't flip out. We will return probably before you want us to. Uh, so check out our page. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we're doing baseball breaks. We're doing classic card breaks. We're doing non-sport breaks. We're doing uh, the the loot crate, collector crate, nerd oh, block goodness. stuff, uh, subscription service boxes we're opening up. Whew! A lot of stuff going on, so stick with us. Let us know what you think. Any suggestions, comments, or criticisms, send it to the email address below. And until next time, I am Matt. And I'm Lucas. And we'll see you guys around on the internet. Or at a card show. Our card shop Bye. near you. Bye.